Best undrafted free agent at every NFL training camp. This is from the Bleacher Report. And for the Browns, they go with Sean Jolly, cornerback from Appalachian State. Length and run supportability are questions for the smaller Jolly. His ability to play outside or nickel could make him a valuable depth piece for the Cleveland Browns. Um, and again, Tim, Jolly, he's an intriguing guy, and the Browns are really deep at cornerback. Yeah, absolutely. They're def they are it is understandable why that why he's listed on there as the mo most interesting undrafted free agent because the Browns are clearly operating on the model that you can't have enough corners. I mean, just look at the depth chart. You got uh Denzel Ward, Greg Newsom, Greedy Williams, all could certainly start start Newsom will probably go into the slot. AJ Green took a nice step forward, he showed a lot of promises. In 2021, you, they drafted Martin Emerson in the third round to potentially be a starter, you know, in the future. So, I mean, there you clearly can't have enough corners, especially in the AFC when you're going against so many good quarterbacks. You just need to have – the Browns are trying to operate under the, the idea that you just have this endless assembly line of corners. I know you can only have so many because of a 53-man roster, but to have as many guys who can cover – as possible in these days of three receivers, four or five even on the field at one time. You need those guys, and you need guys to be fresh to be able to roll through a 17-game season because of injuries, because of fatigue and all those things. It'll be interesting to see if Sean Jolly can steal a spot, especially considering, you know, the Browns trade away Troy Hill, who had been their nickel corner. I know they want to try Newsom inside, but getting more depth at that slot corner position, which is more important than it's ever been. I'm he's a, he's a guy I'm going to keep my eye on. Yeah, I'm with you. And just think of all of the talented quarterbacks in the AFC, and that is why you need as many cornerbacks that can cover the wide receivers as possible.